everyone's going to Insta Meets today and here I am stuck in white horrors doing this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be talking about my September favorites. Yes, it's October. Yes, September favorites. There's quite a bit of products that I'm going to talk to you about, so let's just get started. In no particular order, I have been loving this face toner. It is the Burt's Bees Rose Water Toner Lotion Tonifiant Alu de Rose. I don't know. It's some of the other words are from French. I have been using this every night after I wash my face. And I feel like it helped with um, my acne scars, but I didn't see results right away. I had to wait like a week or two till I saw results, but I like it so far. It's very mild, gentle, it doesn't really sting your face. Unlike those toners that makes your skin feel dry and nasty. What I don't like about this is the smell. If you're not a fan of rosy kind of scents, you wouldn't like this. Let me tell you a story. The reason why I don't like this smell is because of this woman who comes in to my work. She reeks of roses. It's like the moment she comes in, you know it's her because of her perfume. It's so strong, it makes me want to that kind of um, feeling. And I don't know, nobody tells her that, girl. Your perfume is too strong. Nobody, not even her friends. And yeah, this reminds me of her. That's why I don't like the smell. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll use it. I just bought it. I don't want to waste my money, you know. Okay, next. Last month, I really loved using fake nails because they look really nice. But I had to stop using it because of my work. So I'm a barista and I use my hands the whole 8 hours I work there and I carry heavy milk jugs, I, I wipe tables, I carry stock, you know, I use my hands all the time and there were just times when I would like open the fridge and then a nail would pop off and I'm like, ew. And since we're, we are like a restaurant, like we, we sell soup, we sell sandwiches and food. It's kind of unsanitary to have someone who have fake nails that just pops off, so I stopped using it. Also because it takes me two hours to like, remove the old ones and then change it to new ones. I'm cleaning up your nails and then cut them, put these on, and then shape the fake nails and then paint over it. It was just a long process and with my kind of work, it wasn't worth it, but I still loved it. If you follow my vlogs, you know that I'll be moving to the States soon and I won't be doing what I do here anymore. So I feel like I'll be able to enjoy fake nails better over there. These are the, the fake kiss nails, the just the clear ones and the short. Because I cannot stand the long plastic nails that look freaking crazy. So yeah, I can use this but not in my course. I can use this in the States. Moving on. Last month, I tried to use false lashes and I love it. It makes the face like bloom. It makes your face just way prettier, like from zero to 100, if you know what I mean. The ones that I've been using are the Ardell 120 Demi Black. I thought these were the Demi Wispies, but I was wrong. I still like them. It just looks natural. It's just like my lashes, but better and fuller, you know what I mean? It's not that super dramatic. I'm using it today. This is how it looks up close. Beautiful eyes. Those are the pros. The con is that the glue that Ardell sells, first of all, it stinks. Second of all, it's hard to apply. It just keeps bubbling, like vomiting out glue. And then it will just mess up the lashes. It will go all the way to the tips of the lashes. And then when you try to put them on, the lashes will stick to the tweezers. Ugh, I hate it. So the lash glue that I loved using for the past month was this one from e.l.f. It's the free one that came with the eyelash kit that I got last month. This is awesome. I am planning to buy a full size when I finish up that freaking Ardell one. These are so good and I'm sure it's gonna be cheap because it's e.l.f. Next! 
ColourPop. Let's talk about ColourPop. I love ColourPop. Do you love ColourPop? I love ColourPop. They're cheap, but not in a bad way. They're cheap because a liquid lipstick is $6 and then their eyeshadows are $6 or $5. It's very cheap and affordable, but the quality is amazing. These are the only lipsticks that I really look forward to using because most of the time my lipsticks they feel sticky for me and because I salivate a lot I always like do this to my lips and then I just end up like messing up the lipstick and then getting lipstick on my teeth so I needed something really matte that was transfer proof and like really really dry and I found them with ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips and the shade that I have been loving recently is called Beeper and it's the one that I'm wearing right now you'd expect your lips to look like this like the one in the bottle but once it dries on your lips it kind of dries darker so just keep that in mind when you're buying the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips because they dry darker and it's kind of like surprising at first but you'll get used to it and then you'll just fall in love with the color anyway so this is called Beeper. I love it. It's perfect for fall and I have been using this every day. So at work, I go to lunch and then after lunch, I go to the bathroom, retouch because this kind of phase like in the middle, in the center, but then that's it. After one retouch, you're good to go to the end of the night. These lipsticks are amazing. This is my favorite full nail polish as of late because it's really bronzy, warm, and metallic, and it just suits my skin tone. It's so beautiful. This is the Revlon Gel Envy nail polish in the shade Double Down. Okay, next, let's talk about another e.l.f. product. Gosh, I'm all over the place. Anyway, this has been a favorite of mine. It is the e.l.f. Contour Palette, the new ones that are $6 a palette. This is amazing. So you get four shades. Comes with a contour shade, the grayish, like cool undertone, and then a bronzer over here, a shimmery highlight color, and then a matte brightening powder underneath for underneath your eyes or for highlighting. I just love this. I use it every day. It's just $6. It's very good. It's very cheap. I love it. Next, I'm gonna talk about a Morphe brush. This is an eyeshadow brush and it's called the E17. It's one of their elite brushes. I just love this because it's dense and fluffy at the same time. It's perfect for packing on shadow on the outer V and then kind of like blending it into your crease. This is what I use for that. And I just love how it looks like a paintbrush. I feel like an artist when I do my makeup so it's cheap it's good quality way way cheaper than MAC brushes I do not own any MAC brushes because I think it's a waste of money when you can find brushes that are cheap like this but still really good next I will be talking about the ColourPop eyeshadows these are the shades that I just bought last month and I have been using it almost every day and I get a compliment. People say that they like my eye makeup, they like my eyeshadow. So I got Lala. I got this because I remember Kathleen talking about this and she said it's like a beautiful rose gold color and it is true. It's really beautiful. It's what I use for like the inner corner of my eye. See that? <gasps> That's how it looks. It's very beautiful. It's perfect as an everyday kind of shadow for all over the lids and then you're good to go. The only thing with these ColourPop eyeshadows is that when you drop them, there's a tendency that the, the pigment will pop off its pen. It happened to me today twice because I'm a clumsy girl, I guess. Just be careful with these. Next color that I have been loving so much is this ColourPop eyeshadow in Bandit. It's just a beautiful brown matte shade that is perfect for your crease, perfect for your outer V, perfect for every day. It's perfect. It kind of has a an orangey reddish undertone. Been loving that. Next. So sad about this eyeshadow because it's broken. See? You see that? Ugh. Try to like press it down just to fix it. Anyway, this shadow is called Drift and it is a pearlized finish. Oh, I didn't say about the Lala. Lala. Oh. <gasps> What's wrong with you, Corinne? Oh my gosh. 
Anyway, Lala is an ultra metallic finish. Um, Bandit is matte, and Drift is a pearlized finish. It's such a beautiful cranberry shade. It's perfect for fall. I'm so happy I got it, but I'm not so happy that it's broken. I received it broken, but I tried to fix it, and then I dropped it, and then I just made it worse. Okay, last eyeshadow I'll be talking about. Hopefully, I don't drop this on the core pit. This is one of their new shades that came out for their fall collection this year. It is called Central Perk. I just started watching Friends last month. Okay, bonus. It's one of the September favorites. So I started watching Friends and then they always hang out at Central Perk. Cause you know, they're in New York. They're Central Park in New York and then Central Perk coffee shop. You get it? So I got this shade in Central Perk and it's this color, it's like dark and purpley I believe. It is a matte finish and this is what I use for deepening up my outer V. So yeah, it's kind of like a purpley brown. I'm so glad I got it and I have been using the shadows almost every day like all together. If I came to work with this makeup look today, I'd get compliments. So yeah, thanks Colourpop for making me look pretty. Hey, the next one I'll be showing you is this candle that's burning in the background. I just got it from Walmart. It's the mainstay brand. And I got the scent vanilla because I love the smell of vanilla. It just smells really good. It smells like cupcakes. I love it. The last thing I'll be talking about is a book. I have not finished reading it, but I am loving it. This is called Whiskey Beach. This is by Nora Roberts and Nora Roberts is one of my favorite authors of all time. I've read a lot of her books because I love her. Whiskey Beach is one of her latest releases so it involves the word Facebook, internet, chatting and all of that stuff. Nora Roberts always writes mysteries with love stories. I like this book. It's really fun to read. It is interesting. And there's always a killer. It's a mystery. There's always a mystery and I am enjoying this book. So that's it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed me blabbing about stuff that I have loved. Oh wait, I forgot to mention you my hat. Oh. Last month, I felt so bad for not having the proper fall hat because I only had those straw summery hats. So last month I bought two. I just got it from Superstore. It's from the Joe Fresh brand and this is one of them. And this one is called the Heisenberg hat. My sister called it the Heisenberg hat because we love Breaking Bad so much. And this reminds us of Walter White. You know how Walt always does that? <laughs> it's the perfect accessory. It pulls your look together. It's perfect for fall and it keeps your head warm. So there we go. So those are my September favorites for sure. No more. Yup. No more. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you guys next time. Bye!